you know, there, there was a handful of things went wrong. You know, I know Drew addressed some of it yesterday. A lot of it was in the blitz pictures. You know, it started with us recognizing and communicating all the way across the line. One guy gets, another guy didn't, some, or does it. Some guys, some guys get cut loose. Uh, the other one is you go out and then you get smacked in the mouth for a couple plays. You got to fight through that, and that, that's where I got to do a good job keeping the guy's pads down and finishing. But it, it starts with the line of scrimmage, you know. And, and if you get popped once, you got to you got to fight through that, and push back. Interesting the move that uh, tackles in one series, bringing two new guys. How fluid is that line? You expect that well, play? here's the big one with Tariq Cole out. You know, we had a couple guys that. You know, we got a couple guys right now that, that know what they're supposed to do. A couple guys that, that are really physical, don't quite have it all down yet. So what we were doing is after they got after us a little bit in the pass pro, we moved some other guys in just to let them get their head straight. And then you know, put some guys back, you know, put guys back in. So between the two tackles, we rotated three guys throughout the day. How important with that all that changing is Derek Nelson's consistency in the middle? Uh, it's huge. You know, that, that that's probably one of the staples we have is his communication, where he's playing right now. Um, problem is, it's two guys away from him, so we got to make sure that echoes through the guards, through the tackles, and every guy's got to carry their weight right now. When you, AJ, when you talk about uh, like the Michigan game, was it communication that was a problem? It seemed like, obviously, we know offense line, the big thing is they play as a unit. Yeah. Drew kind of seemed to say they were playing as individuals. Yeah, no, and, that, and that's exactly what I said a minute ago was that, you know, base pictures, not a problem. You're good. It comes back to technique, fundamentals pressure pictures or movement stuff like that which we've done really well you know Iowa gave us some looks we, we, those were our best plays when we split them uh, and, and so I don't you know like I said I either I didn't I, I probably didn't prepare them well enough so it comes back to to make sure that they saw everything and so that's on my shoulders when we get those type of pictures and I tell them that the thing we got to do is go out and recognize those tips and keys communicate them be really clean and efficient and that's where your big runs come from how hard is it though to be on not to make any excuses to be on offense line when it's 28 nothing or whatever and you know they're just kind of teeing off on passing plays at that point. well it's uh you know yeah you know the situation we've all been there you know, i was there at one time and, and that's where you have to uh kind of the maturity as a big 10 offensive lineman okay this is one-on-ones they know it's pass i know it's pass uh, third and 15 that's a high pass situation not always, but it is. Um, and so, you know, what we got to do is continue to get creative, find ways to help them out a little bit, and also bring along their technique to where they can hold up out there. Coach, do you think? Uh, the operation or preparation? preparation? It's been good. You know, it's been all mental up until just now. You know, it was a very physical practice. The guys were excited to go. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a new fresh for them. Uh, we move on. We get going. We're playing the team uh, on the other side. So, but. You know, it's Big Ten football, and it's a game our guys came out. I was impressed with how they played physically. Uh, but once again, the mental side of it, we got to make sure we're sure. Coach, do you think the, are the next six games is kind of like a fresh start? Yeah, they are. We're really approaching it. It's a new season. You know, after what we've gone through the last two weeks, that's coaches, players, support staff, everybody uh, from the top down. And Coach Ash has been really direct with that, and it's a great message. Hey, clear our minds. Go back to our excitement energy we had at the end of fall camp, and that's what we move on to play with. And that's all you can do. You, know, you can sit around and complain about what went wrong. It's the past. Just like when you win. Had we won a big game like that, we got to come out Sunday. Guess what? It's a new team this week. And that's just welcome to the Big Ten, guys. Every game's a big one. So just like Illinois this week. Is it the same kind of thing in recruiting? You have a loss like that, recruits might worry, but you just stay in touch with them. And everything. Uh, it all goes back to what you sell in recruiting. You know, I know you have good relationships with a lot yeah, of Yeah, our, our, our message from day one with recruits, doesn't matter what class, is what we're, what the plan is here, how we're going to go about it. Uh, every one of those guys, in, uh, they, they know it's not happening overnight. Uh, the guys we're looking for know it's not going to happen overnight, but it's a day-to-day. -day. Today we came out, we've got to take a step better. And as Coach Ash talks about all the time, if every day we get a little bit better, we're moving in the right direction. It's the days that we don't. And we, we get, you know, as coaches ourselves, we got to check what we're doing. And as players, we got to check what we're doing. And, uh, and that's where we're at right now. We just, it's that grind of two rough weeks. And, you know, we got to put one foot in front of the other and move on to Illinois. Thanks, Thanks, you got it. Thanks yep. so